Hey y'all, how's it going? It is your girl, Hot Girl Tail Shay. I just want to say thank you all for tuning in with me this afternoon. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support, likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. If you'd like to book a personal reading, it is at Hot Girl Tail Shay. Also, um, on my Twitter account, it'll be in the description below. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So we're going to see um, if your person's ego wasn't in the way what could they say to you or what would they say to you okay so if that ego that stubbornness that you know however they have they feeling you know um whatever that blockage is that's in the way of this of your person connecting with you we're going to see um what they would say okay if you know like like i said if that if that ego was in the way that blockage that whatever it is wasn't in the way of this connection at this time what they would say also I just want I hope that all each and every one of you are doing great today. I hope that you're not letting the worries of yesterday get to you. It's a brand new beautiful day. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started, okay? Top of the deck, it says, I was just playing with them girls. I was going to get right back. So your person would probably more than likely be honest and let you know that, hey, you know, whatever I was out here doing, it didn't mean nothing. This is also a lyric of the song of Player's Prayer by Lloyd. So you should take a listen to that. That could be a message for some of you. Um, But yeah, I'm also hearing uh, right now it's playing in the background is Betty White. Ready, right? No pay, no gain. So maybe there's also a lyric from there. Um, you can listen to that as well. I have homie hopping. So um, <clears throat> I'm getting either you know, either your person views you as a homie hopper, or maybe your person was the one that was hopping, you know, messing with your homies. Okay, but your person feels like you are the baddest bitch. Okay. The person will let you know like you're the baddest, you know, the way you use, the way you keep yourself up, the way you look, the way you dress, walk, talk, you're the baddest, okay? But some of you also, I'm picking up that your person's homie or someone close to them in their circle wants you as well, okay? It says, can I spend the night? <laughs> so if your person's ego wasn't in the way, they'll ask, hey, can I come over? Can I stay the night? You know, can I, you know? Can I come chill with you? Can I hang out with you? The person also tell you that they're living in regret. They could be living with someone they don't want to be be with at this time. They could be um, feeling really feeling very very shameful, regretful for the way that they've treated you. Very ashamed, kind of like energy. Passionate new love. So I feel like your person wants to somehow. They're, they're passionate about you. They want to start over. Whoever you this person, your person is, they want to start over with you. You know, they want to, they feel very, they still feel passionate about you. Okay. And as I'm shuffling, I see lonely. Okay. So like I said, your person could be very lonely right now. That's weird. And also we got losing everything. So your person could definitely for sure be losing everything. You know, they could be, like I said, living regret, money issues, financial, you know, money financially issues, going through it with, you know, courts and everything, you know, so the person feels like they're losing everything. It's like when they lost you, they lost it all. Okay, no pain, no gain. Look, your person lets you know they want to hold you, you know, that's probably why they want to come and stay the night because they want to be in your presence. They want to feel your body next to theirs, you know, they want to love on you. What else, man? And then we have don't trust them. So this could go one or two ways. Um, I feel like also we got the homie hopping. Maybe there is a homie or something that's close to your person that could be telling you bad things about your person. And your person just like don't trust them. You know, just, just don't trust them. It says you didn't deserve that. So your person will let you know that you didn't deserve what, you know, they put you through. You didn't deserve to be mistreated. You know, that's why they feel this shame. Money problems. Didn't I tell y'all that? Your person got a lot of issues going on. Like I said, I told you that you're losing everything. They got money issues. 
you know they got a lot of stuff going on right now and like i said when they lost you they lost it all so your person definitely got money problems maybe they're not able to sit back and stack on that money as easy as they were with you you know maybe they got to pay out a lot of things you know i'm feeling like I, you could have even been taking care of your person honestly you really really could have and then we have your bae so your person still lets you know that you are still bae you still you know you're the one they look at you a little bit different than everybody else what up spirit learning from my past mistakes so your person is definitely in this energy like i said living regret and god is kind of sitting your person down a little bit and letting them see like you see what happens when you mistreat someone that really has your back and love you you see what position you you get put in this is our babies would be beautiful so your person would tell you that you know they would want to start a family with you though that you know that they think that you know if y'all ever have children together that they would be beautiful maybe it's something that y'all have discussed before person will tell you that they're dying without you like i told you this is things are not easy for your person your person is living in regret you know they want to reach out but for some reason like i said there's a blockage or something in your person's energy to where they can't we got some red flags so you're so you're you're being warned you know your person still got some red flags still hiding some things still possibly lying being immature about certain things you know it's just my person knows i love you told y'all there it is there's a clarification thank you spirit so yeah for some of you whoever this is for your person is definitely with someone but this person knows that your person still loves you like i said your person's losing it all being with this person whoever your person went to it was like a risk that they took you know and um it wasn't a good risk either you know it's like they should have just kept their asses at home for some of you they know like if they come and spend the night that that will be for them to come and stay with you for long term and then for some of you it says i'm not the person for you so for some of you somebody is um feeling regretful they feel like they're not the one for you they feel like even with all this going on they just feel like they're not ready to to do right by you and that could be the red flag you know that they're not willing to change that they're always going to keep going to whoever else you know that they're not going to be ready to settle down anytime soon this could be an aquarius or you could be an aquarius pure and genuine so this is how i felt like your energy was with this person they'll let you know that you're very very generous you're very good to them you know your energy you're like you're like an angel to your person what else spirit why don't you love me so your person could feel like why don't you care about them anymore why don't you love them this could also be how this other person is feeling because like i said since my person knows i love you and this person could be coming up in your energy and person and they're trying to figure out why don't you love them you know what what's what's so much different from you in the in the karmic you know and i feel like somebody here is is trying to do whatever to keep your person around that could also be the blockage here is that whoever your person is with is trying to do whatever to keep your person around but your person is just not happy because you know, they know that they love you it's like your person's just over there just over there yeah hot and cold energy this is what this um part also what this other person that your person's with is going through they're feeling this hot and cold energy they're getting the they're getting the your per, your per, they're getting the energy of your person firsthand of how it is that you're not in the picture anymore they're getting to see that your person could have tattoos or you could have tattoos what else spirit it says i can't wait to meet you okay so maybe a person was like i said passionate new love i feel like your person can't wait to come back around and they can't wait to um they can't wait to make things happen again with you you know it's like they want to start over oh since i need a hug from you yeah your person feels like okay and we got also taurus sticking out so you can be a taurus or your person could be a taurus but for whoever this is your per oh and then we got libra so this could be Aquarius, Taurus, or Libra. Okay. Let me get some last minute messages. Let me get some more messages from the collector's person. But yeah, whoever this is, you guys. Um, whoever this is, I feel like your person just wants to feel some type of love here. They want to be in your presence. Okay. They want to feel what it is to, to be loved again. I feel like... Your person does just want to get a hug from you even if it's like a, a goodbye hug your person is hoping to get that from you what else here? 
Let me see what messages here. But that's what your person is hoping for. You know, just to get a hug from you. Just to know that everything's okay with you. You know, they don't want to be... I feel like somebody doesn't want to be on bad terms with you. Let's see if there's any more last message. Any last message. Messages here. Okay, so we'll take it right there. You could also be dealing with... um your person that has somebody stand up for yourself i don't care if this person says whatever don't sit back and let this person talk to you any kind of way or you know as for some of you you know you know in your mind and your heart that you're not going to go back to this person so you just need to just start standing up for yourself that's what your gods are telling you at this time too so here's some last minute messages we have leaving my family for you so for some of you your person will be coming back if your person has a family they're going to leave that family. They're going to come to you. Okay. King status. So this could definitely be a divine masculine. Okay. Jealous, bitter, and miserable. Ooh, so this could be a person that could be very jealous. You know, bitter at the fact that you're moving on without them. It's just falling in love. So I feel like even though you and your person may not be talking on good terms, your person is still sitting somewhere, still reminiscing about the times, about how y'all fell in love. Your person wants to fall in love with you again. Look, I'm so unfucking happy. Yeah, wherever your person's at, they're not liking it there. Creep weirdo. So your person could definitely be viewing, watching your page, on your on your stuff, being a little bit weird. You know, they could be saying some weird stuff. You know, like ooh, I want to kiss your toes or some something like that. You know, I mean, it might not be weird for everybody, but you know, it's just hiding things from you. So there's some red flags. You know, your person's still hiding things. So even if you take this person back, just know that they're going to continue to hide things from you, okay? You're the one. Yep, you're that one. You're that one of one. It says, have your way with me. For some of you, a person does just want to come back just to have sex. Like I said, they just want to come and spend the night. They're not ready to really give you an offer at this time. So I really wouldn't... I really wouldn't put the, make this, let this person be back in my presence because... They're gonna tell you what they want, what what they I'm getting somebody who's still immature. They're gonna tell you what they what you wanna hear, you know? And um they're just trying to make their way in. Some of them some of them just wants to have their way back with you. We got busy, busy, busy. So your person could be very, very busy right now. A lot is going on. Person's trying to keep their head above waters for some of you. You could be the one who's also very busy, busy with a lot of you just don't have time. It says, What's better than me? So that's your energy. I feel like this is you. You know who you are. You know that you don't have to compete with not a single soul. You also know this person is going to always come back to you. But just because they come back does not mean whatever. You know, it just means that they're, they're just there, you know. So just learn how to deal with this. Because, you, like I said, you know exactly who you are. Continue to continue to thrive and keep keep growing. You are so blessed. Even without this person, and I hate to say it like this, but even without this person, even without this person you're still going to be doing good person could be smoking weed a lot you could be the weed smoker but yeah you're continuing to do be do good in life you know you don't have time to sit in this energy this but i'm picking up on this like yeah you're you you kind of want to know your person's feelings how they're thinking but you're not stuck on this person you know you're not you're not worried about this person because you know what they are you've been with this person you've been around look peaches and cream by 112 you know like they're not really gonna give you no offer but they do love you Okay, they definitely love you, but they're just not ready to give you an, an offer at this time. So, <clears throat> let's see here. What's their situation? Spirit? What is the collective person's situation? What is the collective person's situation? Don't be, don't be naive. Whoever this is for, I don't really feel like the person is going to give you an offer at this time. I feel like they are just worried, you know, that, that you're going to get away too far and that they're going to want you to come back. You know, I feel like this is a, a game that they play. You know, it's always you and someone else. It's never just you. And if it is you, it don't last for too long. You'll eventually find out it's somebody else in the picture, you know. So, so just be mindful, you guys. I mean, y'all all have free will to what you want to do. I'm the messenger. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There could be a lot of gossip about you. You could be in, be in group chats. You could hear a lot of crazy shit about, about you. 
you know someone here is just very very unhappy this is also could be a homie that's close to your person could be gossiping about you too telling your person all your business i'm also picking up this is also someone where y'all have a mutual friend between you and your person but you could be more closer to this person this person's going back telling everything to your person stop telling this person your business okay they know too much even, even if you are sad over your person, don't let this other person know because your person knows. This could be also the blockage too, is the fact that they're not coming to you yet because they know everything about you. They know your moves. They know what you're going to do next. They know that you're still in your feelings. You know, if you're someone who gets in your feelings and talks to your friend about your person, your friend about your person, tell them how you feel, just know that's being screenshotted and your person knows. Okay? Just be mindful, you guys. Be mindful. Yeah, signs. You can be getting signs, or your person could definitely be getting signs about you. If you've been seeing like one, one, two, 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 three, three, just know your person could be getting ready to come back towards you. Okay, they could definitely be getting ready to come back towards you. You could also find this person is now single because they were dealing with somebody who was very thirsty, and this person was just weighing them down. They weren't happy there, and they're done. You know, this person's calling too much drama between you and between you and this other person that's why spirit guys were telling you to stand up for yourself when it comes to this person you know your person just got a lot going on your person just feels like you know even if they were in a commitment or with somebody that you had found out they're about to get ready to cut that off because deep down inside your person wants you the person wants to give you children okay mm. <laughs> or you could be the one that they're committed to and they're with somebody else but that's about to end, okay? Just know that at this time, you're being protected, okay? You're being protected. Your spirit guides are on you. Like I said, you lie, you have been saying a lot of angel numbers. Just know that you're protected, okay? You're protected, protected from harm, from this protection. A lot of you are worried about your person that's coming back. They're coming back. And this this was everything that y'all went through was meant to happen. And y'all will be reconciliate, reconciling with one another. Anymore, yeah, like I told y'all, children. There's any children could be involved. You could already have a child with this person, but there's children involved or will be children involved. Y'all could both honestly be, be kind of petty, or your person could be petty. That's why you saw the gossiping and the petty energy. Just know like you're being protected if your person's being petty. But I feel like your person's gonna want to sit down and talk to you. Someone is very on your on your page watching you. Look at this happiness. Our children again some of you could definitely be if you if you go back to your person i feel like your person's gonna end up trying to get you pregnant what else? yep you're on the verge of finding out something about your person um, i feel like you're on the verge of finding out that your person wants you back because your person feels like it's been too much time time is running out and they're ready to, for you to, to ready for y'all to be back together we got tevin campbell tell me tell me what you want me to do that's your person's energy. Your person's going to want to know what do you want to do? What what can I, how can I fix this? Yeah, your person feels sad and alone. And they feel hurt because they feel like it's unconditional love with you. They are certain in their heart that you are the one for them. It's nobody else, okay? They love you. And whoever they end up being with always end up finding out that it's you, okay? Agreement. They're ready to come to some kind of compromise with you. They're ready to get on the same page. Also, your person has been having dreams, hearing songs about you as well. So it's kind of like a soulmate energy, twin flame. Y'all are both feeling this, okay? Don't think you're just, you're only sitting back. Even though your person might have somebody in their presence, you're not the only person that's feeling this. They're feeling this shit too. Yep. And it's like a pause. Your person's tired of waiting. Tired, tired of hearing everything else through, through petty people, through drama-fied people. They're ready to know what's going on with you. From your own mouth. Because they're coming. Yeah. That's why they're ready to come back with you. Because they want they want to know from your own mouth that you still care and you still want this to work. So your person, some of you, your person is definitely waiting on you. Definitely waiting on you. Let me see you guys. They are waiting on you to kind of let them know. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Reconciliation, heavy reconciliation coming in. So you don't got nothing to worry about for those who want your person back. But even if you don't, I mean, I feel like they're going to come back towards you. 
because it's been too much time. They feel like time is running out. They're getting kind of worried that you done moved on without them. And I'm shuffling these cards and look what's still in the back. <sighs> that reconciliation. I'm telling y'all. But a lot of y'all have really gotten the mindset where you have spiritual cleanses person out your energy it's like look how she's looking at her now like you're listening to your gods now those signs you are ignoring yeah you're definitely listening to them now because you don't want to feel like that no more you don't want to wake up feeling sick to your stomach or keep having these dreams about your person but you know y'all are going to be experiencing reconciliation with your person whether you want it or not your person is going to make their, their way towards you i feel like hold up what's the collective got going on you guys are asking you to keep your options open. Okay. Keep your remain, keep your options open. Your person is also misses the loyalty. They miss the love. You know how loyal you are to them and how good you are to them. They don't have that no more. They're going through it over there. Yep. Your person's tuned into your social media. Got it bad over you. Missing you. Nostalgia. Watching your social media. Wondering what you're doing. Your person could also be sitting back judging you like why are you going out why are you doing the most why are you doing why are you doing that yeah they're, they're judging you but you just like i don't want to hear it i'm doing me now I, i'm i'm going after what i want to now i'm living my best life now like talk to the hand yep like it's like you chose this third party you, you was out doing your thing having fun i was sitting back playing mommy or playing daddy or being the best thing that i could to you and you're the one who let let this go now your person's missing you Feeling this, in, having this separation anxiety, wondering what you're doing, ready to come back towards you. Because it's like, I'm also picking up someone with this loyalty energy. You're very loyal to this person. Like, very, very, super, super, duper loyal. You probably lied to this person, whatever the case may be. And it's like, this person don't have that energy no more. They don't have that. They don't even know who, who's for real around them. Yeah, your person, this was someone who swept a lot of shit up under the rug. Like I said, those red flags. Your person's still hiding things from you. Still hiding things, you know. But your person's still going to try to put that work in. I'm also picking up an energy around you. There's someone who needs their ass beat. It's like Wendy Williams. Always gossiping in your business. Heavy energy. Yeah, but continue to live your best life. Go on vacations. Go have fun. Don't sit around waiting for this person. You could also be under love. Or you and this person could be wanting to start over again. It could be a new love. Y'all might be out walking one day and see each other. Y'all might decide y'all want to reconcile because I'm picking up a heavy energy of you and this person took some time apart to yourselves for a while. And y'all are going to be coming back to something better. Like I said, like y'all are protected. This was all meant to happen. And whoever tried to stand in your way, they didn't end up winning at all. They did not end up winning and it really ain't about winning or losing or anything because i mean who wants to keep going through somebody keep choosing them whenever you just gotta learn how to stand your ground and say look if we're gonna make this work let's make it work and if we're not it's not but for some of you person is definitely receiving karma for the way they treated you tell me more give me more clarity yeah so you realize that your person like y'all just better off as friends some of y'all don't even want your person back but you're realizing i still like to have this person in my life but being in love with them and connecting with them like being on that level i can't but some of y'all realizing like your person they just got too much going on i can still be cool you know we ain't gotta slip around we ain't gotta mess around we can just be cool and that's what i'm the energy i'm also picking up too that y'all don't have to be together y'all just realizing like we don't have to be together we can just be we can be cool you know, I still enjoy you as a person. I still love you as a person. But, but being in love with you and, and having a relationship with you, I cannot do it. Because you realize that you're, you're with someone who is always at war with themselves or always in drama or always have conflict and drama and other women or other men. You don't have time for that. Yeah, you learned this your karmic lesson. For some of you, you know, this person was faking it and acting like they had it like that and was living a certain kind of lifestyle. And you ended up being the one that got pregnant because you thought that this person was equally loving you the way you're supposed to be you know for some of you your person got you right got got you right where they want you which is to, to be pregnant you know some of you you're they're realizing like you're really like damn this person just they're just meant to just be my baby daddy baby the mom you know <laughs> like i 
I have love for them, but I cannot be with them, you know? And guess what? That's okay. You don't always have to be back with your person. And reconciliation does not always mean that y'all going to end up being together, being happily ever after. It don't, it don't mean that. Sometimes it be a simple, your person liking your picture. It could mean your person, you know, coming back around. And just um, it don't have to be about love. It can just be about that. Yeah, but either way, I feel like even if so, I feel like it's just too much in this connection. I feel like you're always side-eyeing a person. You cannot trust this person. You love this person, but you know, in your heart, you cannot trust them. You know, it's just too much going on. It's like... I done met this person's family. I done been around through the good, bad, and the ugly. I done held this person down. And I just can't. It's like you're going to always have to question yourself. You go to this person, you're going to always have to question yourself. Yeah. And you're tired of feeling in this energy. Worrying. Worrying why you're not good enough. Which you are. Yeah. You know you stand out. It don't matter who your person gets with. It don't matter. You always are the one that your person is going to always come back to because it's something about you. Your person still starstruck of you. You are someone who your person could have dealt with when they were younger. Younger. And they still just feel like you're you're everything. You know? Yeah. They look at you like royalty. I always get this card when I do collective. Like I said, I'm always picking up on the energy of someone who... That, like, y'all are just... Y'all used to be lovers back in the day. And, and y'all had time to grow. Y'all had children. Maybe I might give it another chance or it could just simply mean that y'all had time apart and y'all realizing now like y'all in this more mature energy, you know, what else? but you, some of you will end up marrying this person. Yeah. So your person does want to apologize and let you know that they are sorry, that they're realizing the real from the fake. Everything that you said was true. What they were chasing after wasn't, was really not nothing compared to the goal that you are. Yeah. They realized that, that there was real love with you. Those butterflies, they felt that with you. Those home-cooked meals, they missed that. That love that you gave them, you know. Sex was different with y'all, too. It wasn't just, oh, hit it and move on. No, it was it actually meant something. Yeah, your person's obsessed with you. Can't get over you. That type of energy. Let's see. Yep. And this person will always secretly admire you. They're going to want to do love gestures, you know, small love gestures. Maybe not nothing too big, but they want to give you flowers. They want to leave something at your doorstep. They want to let you know, like, I still care. I still want you. I'm not giving up. For some of you, you're receiving good karma because you're realizing that, you know, you, 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 you're chest in, chest out. You know, you had to do what you had to do. You had to let that shit go. You could not stay in that energy. Whether or not this person y'all back romantically or you're just keeping it friends, you know? Yeah, for some of you, you did not take this shit personal at all. Because you know what? You thought, look, I know who I am. I'm a beautiful woman, beautiful, handsome man. And I know whoever's going to be along me is going to be in my divine energy in due time. And it's just like, you know who you are. You know, you don't have time to continue to sit around and wait for this person to make up their mind to see if they're going to choose you. You're not worried about that. You're choosing yourself. You're giving to yourself these days. So it, it ain't really got nothing to do with that. Yeah. But you realizing some of you, like I said, some of you just want to be friends. You want to kick it with your person. You just want to be cool. You don't want to be back in love with them. You don't want to be, you know, for some of you, you can't even be in love with this person. Some of you can't even be friends with this person because it's just too much they've done. So you're just like, no, nope. you know. I'm also picking up for some of you, your person will be planning a vacation and you have the option to go. It might catch you off guard. <laughs> but. I feel like some of you will decide to go. Yep. Your spirit guide says to trust your intuition. Your intuition is correct. Whatever you feel, feel it. Don't try to second guess it. If you feel like it's okay, go. If you feel like it's not, don't. Okay? Because either way, you know, you're moving on to what is better for you. Okay? You're, you're moving on to what is good for you. And you got good karma coming your way. What up, spirit? Yep, spiritual gifts. Like I told y'all, y'all are heavy, heavy protected at this time. You know, Archangel Michael, you seeing these angel numbers, seeing these signs, heavy on you. So, give me one more message, spirit. Yep, but some of you are realizing that you want to do life with your best friend. You want to start all over. You want to make something happen. You know, it's his best friends together, always on their mind. Your person's always thinking about you. Always wanting to be around you. 
So I'm gonna give y'all one angel card. And we're gonna end it. Angels, what do you have to say to the collective? We're currently going through this at this time. Or we'll be going through this. Oh, and there it is. It says it's up to you. So whatever you, like I told you, I trust yours. Whether you want to make it work with your person, whether y'all want to be friends, whether you don't want to do this person at all, it is all up to you. And then we have, if some of you, like I told you, some of you, your person's hiding too much. So even if you go back, it's not even the right time anyways, you know, because your person's just got too much going on. Okay. But continue to thrive, continue to work on yourself, you know, continue to send this energy where you know that. Things are going to work out for you, whichever direction you choose to go. But like I said, it is up to you to do what you want in your heart. So I'm going to end the video right there. Thank you all for your support. Likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. Um, if you need a book of personal reading, it is in my description box at Hot Girl Tarot Shea. The link will take you to my Twitter account. And I will see you guys in the next video.